what is good my friends it's your homie twitty and i'm back at it with another reaction so i decided to go back into some more lord of the loss um i love this band i love listening to the tracks that i've listened to so far so i decided why not do another one and i'm gonna do a live performance just because i want to hear how you know he sounds live and everything so um we're gonna do lord of the lost born with a broken heart live at sinister summer Let's see what we got Let's see what's in store for us i really had a lot of good, a lot of good reactions of these guys so i can't wait to see what's uh, what, what what they got for us so roll pull up my lyrics Oh yeah, FYI, like this is from the Judas album, so um, this could possibly go over my head some of it. I'm not really that, I don't really, like I don't know, I haven't read the Bible in a very long time and all that stuff. I mean, I've got like some basic knowledge, so we'll see what I get, we'll see what I don't get. Anything I miss, like always, drop it down below, let me know, please. So let's kick it, let's go, let's go. That's cool. It's got a choir. That's a great riff and a nice drum pattern. Wow. Okay. So, like, no matter where where this guy performs or how it is, if it's studio or live, like, I kind of feel like his voice is attention grabbing. Like, I've said that before. Like, he just fills the room and like he grabs your attention immediately when he starts to sing. Uh, I love the drums and the guitar in this. It matches the epic uh, choir in the background. So he said, from the opening scream that remains on your lips, so like from the time of your birth, like the torment in your eyes left to carry the blame for the rest of us. So is he talking about Jesus right now? Because, I mean, essentially that's what happened to Jesus. I mean, if you think about it, from Jesus' birth, he was destined to take all the sin of humanity and, and die for them. You know, that that's a very... Um, like how how if you if you were in that that person's shoes like how how would you feel that your life was so predetermined to that point you know um you know because it sounds like you're cursed from your your birth essentially you know and maybe he's talking about that from judas's perspective too i wouldn't be surprised that'd be an interesting take you know too because he he was destined to betray him you know, I mean, when you're talking about all that stuff, you're talking about predetermined destiny. And I mean, is that is that really the way things are? You know, because that's a hard thing to wrap your head around. You know, that no matter what you do, you're, it's predetermined that the result's going to be this. So. Heaven is a place. I like that. That was a great little switch. It's all fast and heavy. And they just bring it back just a little bit. Give it that bounce.
Nice. It's very epic. I like the uh, production value of this live performance. Like, I love the lighting, you know, how they're all assembled on stage. You know, uh, Chris is just killing it with the vocals, you know, singing. And, of course, he can also scream, too, to put the emphasis on the end of that sentence that he just did, you know, because he said, Heaven is a place where you belong. You went down to hell, the lonely one, savior of all. Because, I mean, if you do think about it in the Bible, Jesus did die um and he, when he was when he died he went to hell and he got the key the key to life or whatever and brought it back to open the gates of heaven for everybody you know so through him you were able to now go to heaven cuz like before so there like it was either very near impossible or it just didn't happen you know um, and I mean, I think even farther in the Bible, they talk about like, like everybody's in a limbo right now. And like, no one's going to go to heaven until Jesus comes back and takes everybody, you know, and all sorts of stuff. So, I mean, there's all sorts of other things. There's a lot of variations. There's a lot of stuff that's not in the Bible. Like, I mean, I love those like, you know, uh, banned Bible books and stuff like that, you know, stuff they took out, you know supposed to be a holy document why are we taking stuff out and why are we editing and making revisions to it if it was wrote in the inspiration of god supposedly you know so i mean there's i find all that stuff very interesting but um you know he said savior of all but you always knew you would fall like i said he it was predetermined and he knew you know because in life and death you know you are born with a broken heart like you're you're born to be betrayed, you you were born to you know be the scapegoat essentially of all humanity. But love the performance, love the music. It, it just blends together so well, so well. Okay. All right, so I feel like that's about Judas, okay? Because, I mean, if you think about it, there's two tokens to this, and this is what this Judas album has kind of been is the duality. When you think about the Jesus story in the Bible is that there's also Judas, you know, too. He's like the antagonist, um, you know, because essentially he's the number one top ten anime betrayal of all time in the biblical sense, you know, um... So he's saying, as his blood washed away, so after you betrayed him and he was, you know, crucified, you know, your soul was not clean because you're the traitor. So we condemned you to life, made the traitor to save every one of us. So you were made the bad guy in order to kick off the events that needed to happen for the, you know, whole... You know, I don't fucking know what the hell they call it. The whole Jesus crucifixion story you know, in the redemption of humanity. So, so you were, you were made this person to kick off the events that needed to happen. So like, is he a bad guy? <laughs> like if he was just playing his part, you know, that's where like all this stuff comes down to. And I don't believe in predetermined destiny. I just don't think that it happened. There's too many possibilities in the world, you know? Um, so, I mean, I, that's something that I have a hard time wrapping my head around. But, like, I mean, if you if you really think about it, though, like, if, if you take the story for what it is and you look at it, like, he needed to be this guy. So, was he a bad guy, really? Drop it down below. Let me know what you think. But, uh, you know, so your truth was denied, so you were made to be the bad guy. Crazy. Crazy concept to a song, crazy concept to an album. That's why I really like this band. Um, you know, and I can't wait to get into more. So keep dropping them down below what you guys wanted me to react to from this album or any of their other albums. This album it seems so catchy too, and just so well put together. Like, I mean, it's definitely made to be 
classic songs, you know, timeless, essentially. I mean, essentially, if you think about it, the way that they're putting this, like, Judas was almost essentially, like, G almost like Jesus himself. Like, as far as, like, he needed to do the things that he did to save humanity. Like what they did there. I like what they did there. I love that, dude. Who's the who's the guitarist that's singing? Drop that below. Um, but that I loved that bounce and that crunch to that portion right there. And like this just reaffirms the fact that I I believe in this song. He's like obviously it's you know he's it seemed like he might have been talking about Jesus. No, it's Judas. Like Judas is essentially almost like Jesus in, in a dual sense. So like when you look at it in the way that I've been talking about. <laughs> I don't want to go back into it because I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about it over and over again. But it's a great concept to a song and a crazy ass concept to an album, dude. Like, I love this band. Like, give me more of this band too. Um, and I'm like, I'm just so happy to be back right now. Like, it's been too long with the videos. I need to keep, I need to get the consistency going again. I had an interview at a job today, so hopefully that goes well. And if that goes well, I should have a nice amount of time to start doing some things that I want to do and money to do those things. So that'd be great. So keep me in your thoughts on that. Maybe if not this job, maybe one of the other ones I've been looking for too. Because like I've been just looking for better opportunities because I'm just not happy where I am right now. You know, so... Sorry for the little life update, but I always like to keep you guys informed. So if you've been this far in the video, do me a favor. Click like, click, click subscribe, and drop a comment, man. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you liked. I love seeing all your guys' comments. I've had some really, really nice ones over this time that I've been off, and I really appreciated it because it really made me have the drive to want to come back as soon as possible. Heaven is a place where you belong. You went out to hell. Dude, hold on. I'm sorry. I gotta go back. We gotta listen to that crunchy part, and then we're gonna have to go into that drop down because that is fantastic. So beautiful. You went out to hell, the lonely one. Heaven is a place where you belong. You went out to hell, the lonely one. Save your Oh, that was nice. That was nice. It's so angelic yet so evil at the same time, you know, like so demonic at the same time. Dude, that song gets a fucking 10 out of 10. I really don't care what anyone else has to say. No, I'm just kidding. Um... 
drop down below what you guys think about this song man for real let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys agree with me let me know if you disagree with me like i really like the duality of what i've been seeing in these songs and just the thoughts that get provoked because like i said that this band was thought provoking and they really are thought provoking because when you think about it this is insane <laughs> but um yeah drop them down below my friends i hope you guys all have a kick-ass day and a kick-ass week be safe. Later.